all and what I'm going to be doing during this video is looking at some of the more advanced features of Territory. Now I have finished upgrading all my buildings. You can see here the resource buildings are at level 100 and the rest of them level 25. I have also finished all my researches. They are all maxed out as you can see here. So pretty much the only thing I can spend my resources on now is making more troops. You can see here I have the highest level troops unlocked. I might as well make a few more of these while I'm here. I do have some infantry on build. I'm not sure if building the highest level soldiers is the best strategy but that's what I'm doing now. But yeah, that's what my basic territory looks like. Now you do need a couple of good teams for this. I've made up a good one at the top that I'm going to be using as my main team. You can see I have set all the soldiers. The secondary team is nowhere near as good. It's just the lower level heroes you can see here. But let's go over to the wall. Right, so this is what the map looks like. If we go over to the guild champion feature, you can see here all the cities on the map. The red ones are held by the enemy, the green ones are held by ourselves, then there's a neutral one as well still on the map. Ideally, you want to get as many cities as possible for yourselves. I will talk more about that as we progress. So if you haven't unlocked all of the cities yet, that's one of the first things you want to do. Once you have unlocked the cities, you want to try and raid some of them. After you have completed a raid on a city, you can then quick clear it. There we go, like so, and then if we do one quick clear just to show, this is what I got from quick clearing it. So I might as well go ahead and do a few more of the ones I have not already completed yet. There we go, there's another one here. Once you have decent troops, this should be relatively easy. There we go. Tons of items from doing that. There we go, there's another one here I can raid. But yeah, this is one of the things you should be doing after you complete and unlock the map. Start raiding all the cities, then you can quick clear them afterwards. I did lose quite a few troops there, but that's nothing to be too concerned about. Now if we go over to the workshop, you can see where you can use some of the items that I just obtained. You can make equipment for your troops and that's always good. Not sure if I can make anything yet. I'm going to just synthesize the items that I am able to make as long as I don't run out of resources of course. But yeah you should be able to start making equipment here as well after you've made the materials. Right, let's finish off doing all of this. Yeah, unfortunately I can't make anything yet. You can see I have some of those crystals there for one of the pieces of equipment. You do need quite a lot of items though, as you can see here, so I probably won't be able to make anything for a while. This is still a feature I've not really focused too much on. 
once I have completed the entire map of raising all the cities, I will hopefully be able to do a bit more there. So now on to some of the more advanced features. Capturing enemy cities and defending your own cities. Now this is a city we own. What I can do here is put all my troops in for defence. If you look here you can see the idle soldiers. What that also does is allows you to complete the devotion quest which is quite useful. That's how you complete this send troops in territory quest. It took me a while to work that out actually. I tried to put the troops in the guild camp but realised it wasn't completing the quest but that's how to do it anyway. So bear in mind once you have put troops into one of your cities if an enemy guild attacks that city you may lose some or all of your troops. So that's something to bear in mind when doing that. I'll just find a city that we own and take my troops out now. I think you just press, yeah, there we go. And that gets you the troops back and you can defend another city if you want to. Now, as I have a lot of troops, I'm going to try and take an enemy city. This will probably go horribly wrong and I will lose all the troops, but I want to try it anyway for fun. I'm going to have a look around the map and see if I can find a city that doesn't have too many troops defending it, then go for that. I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Right, I've just pulled back on the screen a little bit so you can see this better since half of it was off the screen as you saw. Now this is probably going to result in complete and utter suicide, but it's worth a try just for a bit of fun. I'm not going to need all of the troops that I have anyway. Let's see what happens. This might take a bit of time by the way, so I may skip ahead a bit if it's taking forever, but I've got to get through all 150 of those troops and that is going to take quite a long time. My team is getting through them though, so I don't know what's going to happen here. It's going to take a long time though, put it that way. We're coming up to around halfway now and you can see my troops are still alive, so I think we may win this, but I'm not sure. I've never done this before. It is taking an incredibly long amount of time though. I think the best thing to do if you are going to do this is attack a city then go and do something else for a while. As this is really boring, you just sort of sit there and watch the troops sort of die. But yeah, we're not far off now. Right, we're nearly there. We are nearly there. This is the last one and I think we've won. Not sure what happens now though. Oh, there we go. We have a victory and I didn't lose any troops by the looks of it, which is quite interesting. So that's what happens with the city war feature and we should now, if we have a look at the map, have claimed that city or have we? I'm not sure. Doesn't look like we have, but I didn't lose any troops. I'm a little bit confused by this. I have zoomed back in, it kind of seemed a bit too easy though as there wasn't anything really to do but now I can claim these chests here and focus on some of the other features. So this is well worth doing even if it doesn't necessarily capture the city. But yeah you can see here it's kind of important to try and kill as many as you can just to get these chests. Just from attacking one city I've managed to claim all of the chests plus you can see here I'm now fourth on the kill rankings which should get me this. So that's pretty much the most important feature 
to attack another city, you can see here all of the really useful rewards you can get. So I may well try another city at a later date. Right, so now once you have attacked a city, you can go ahead and use all the keys that you got. They can be used here, so let's try drawing 10 times. There we go, that's the items I got from that, plus some chests. Let's go ahead and finish using up the keys. You can also skip it to speed it up a little bit. But yeah, you can actually get some decent items from this. And this is pretty much the main focus of territory once you've upgraded everything. Capturing cities. And there we go, I think that about marks the end of this video. I hope that was helpful. I think I pretty much covered everything. There are a few features that I'm still a bit unsure about here, so I can't guarantee I've covered all of it. It is quite a fun feature once you've got the hang of it. Just attack and capture cities, then build troops. That's after you have everything unlocked and upgraded anyway. So if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe. Thank you to those that have already subscribed to the channel. I have included a previous video, plus a playlist on the screen with all my Eternal Fury 3.0 videos. Plus you can also subscribe from here if you want to. And thanks for watching.